Hey guys, this is Corey right here with Massive Games. Um, I know some of my Kickstarter backers and other customers have been having questions about how to put some of the display stands that have been showing up. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video that explains that for you. So I'm going to show you how to set up a medium, which is very similar to the large and the small stands, as well as one of the card stands. Um, for the medium, uh, and I apologize if the video quality here isn't very good. I'm not in my normal office. I'm actually traveling. I'm in uh, San Jose, California right now. But for the, uh, for the medium stands, you're going to want to, from this side, from the uh, more finished looking side, uh, pop out the tabs. And the reason you want to do it from that side is just so that you don't accidentally tear paper on the, uh, on the uh, side that everyone will see. Um, so there's a tab right up there. And if you go down here, there's two little tabs in the uh, medium stands you can pop out. Um, the, the small stand will just have one, but the uh, larges will have two down at this end. And so then to fold the, put the stand together is really simple. Turn it so that um, the uh, barcode is facing up towards you and turn one side over, plug into the bottom hole like that. Take the other side over, bend it into the joints here like this, and then click down just like that. And you have this stand ready to go. Um, one thing you might want to do when you're first uh, getting these stands going is there might the joints might be a little loose. So go ahead and, and uh, flex them. It won't hurt the stands. You're not going to break them. I like to just tap them down. That makes them go in better and fold easier and, and, and sit down as well. Another thing that we discovered um, at Gen Con actually is that um, for most of you, this may not matter, but if you plan on having a lot of uh, customers or kids or, or whatever the case, um, taking the, the boxes off and on um, in order to keep it more sturdy and just hold it together, you can actually use a little bit, bit of tape just uh, connect it to that part, thread it through that groove and around, and then it just holds everything together so it can't come apart in case you're gonna have like little kids grabbing it or people just throwing boxes down, whatever the case may be. But that's how you basically set up the medium, the large, and the uh, small display stands. Very simple, um, you guys should be able to get it, no problem. The car display stands, oh, I should mention that I'm actually filming uh, this video with my phone on a medium display stand. So um, if they don't work out for your games for some reason, try them on your cell phone. Uh, but they'll work out for your games, I promise. Um, so for the card display stand, it'll look like this. It might come folded, but it'll look like this. And it has probably like 30 different tabs that you need to pop out. So it's a gamer's paradise, popping tabs. Um, but let me go ahead and show you guys how to put this one together because it is a little more complicated and I do apologize that I didn't have time to make an instruction sheet for you guys to download. I've been crazy swamped. Um, if any of you want to come work for Massive Games, just uh, let me know. The pay is awesome. So to start out with, go ahead and just pump out, pop out all these, these small ones here. Um, do it from the top facing side or the, the more smooth rounded finish. Um, they are small, so use your fingernail to get them out without tearing the paper. Um, there's a ton of them, so you'll basically have a mess by the time you're done. But uh, So if you do that, there's uh, eight different tabs right there. Um, you can also do these, uh, these side ones here. Let's see if I can, I don't know if the light's very good. So basically, um, this joint will actually bend, so you'll see um, it bends a little bit right here. And there's also two tabs on either side of it that you can pop off. So when you're done, it'll look a little bit like that. Um, and then go ahead and do that on the other side, take out the extra tabs that might be connected. So you have it like that. So now if you do it right, you should have two tabs that are looking like that. Um, then, then for the next section, you're gonna want to uh, pop out this middle section here. And you're actually gonna keep these. So once you get these two big tabs out um, from this middle section, Go ahead and keep them, pop out the little things inside, just like so. And when you're done, it should look like this for both of those. So, like I have so. Um, and then you have a few more to do. Uh, you'll go ahead and pop out these ones right here on either side. Um, there's a little piece that you'll pop out right there, like this. Um, this piece actually bends, so it'll be a nice big long piece that you'll bend right here. And then the rest of the top ones here, you're going to also pop out. So let's go ahead and do that. Ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -bum. So there's going to be like, I don't know, another 
nine tabs to pop out. So when you're done, will look like that. The entire thing should look something like this. Um, there, if you have a couple extra pieces, go ahead and pop them out. You technically don't have to pop out um, these middle ones right here or right here, but I'll show you why we do so you can keep them in a second. And this is why you want to pop out from the one side, just in case um, you accidentally tear the paper a little bit. I was hurrying, so just be careful that you pop it out. It's fine because no one will ever see it because of how it folds, but um, you want to be a little careful when you're popping out the tabs. So to set this up, um, first go ahead and bend all the joints. So this bottom joint is going to bend right here. Make sure it's nice and loose. Um, this middle one actually has another one that bends. So there's two very close to each other. So go ahead and do this. Um, it should be able to fold completely flat. So eventually it'll look like this. You can see that. And then you have this one that bends and these. So how I like to do it, and it sort of is personal preference, honestly, but I like to fold it and I like to work on this, this big long guy first. So you're gonna fold it all the way up and get that guy in there. And then what I like to do is I like to take my finger and push this other tab up through and it should pop into place just like that. It'll pop in right there. So then you can go ahead and do that with the other side. Just take your finger, push it in, pop the tab in, right? And then I like to come around to the very end and pop this guy in. And if you want, you can um, bend it down a little bit. Um, so these are meant to sit flat on the table. They're not necessarily meant to be picked up by one side or something. So if you're using these for your kids, I know some of my customers want to use them because their kids have smaller hands when they're young and so it helps them hold their cards. Um, you could consider just like putting a little piece of tape here or whatever to hold it nice together, but otherwise you can set it flat on the ground and once you've bent out the joints, it should be fine. Um, so, but we'll come back to these um, other tabs I talked about. So these ones, what you want to do, they are um, a little loose in how they made the cuts. So I found a simple solution for that. Go ahead and take them. Uh, make sure this side, um, the smooth side, or it actually doesn't matter. Either side is facing away from you. And then what I like to do is take these and just bend them. That's right. It looks like you're breaking it, but just bend it right there and bend it at the other side. So it's just a little loose and it's a little bit curved like that, right? So do that for, go ahead and do that for both of those. And then what you'll notice is that on this uh, tray, the middle ones are actually offset from the other ones. So you can, once you've bent that, you can go ahead and take that and just stick it in. So it should be nice and tight when you do it. After you've bent it, go ahead and put the other one in there. Oh man, I'm too tight. There we go. So now you have a completed massive, what we're calling card and component displays. Um, so you can put a row of cards in here, you can put a row of cards in here, you can put components in here. You can actually take these out like that and flip it around. If for some reason you didn't want to use the card component and you only wanted one, um, probably something publishers would use more. And you can actually stick them in the opposite side like so. So then you have a nice display. Maybe if you're putting these up on like on your game shelf mantle or whatever and you just want to show some cards, you could do it this way, have sort of a nicer, cleaner look without the components to put your cards there. Or you could use it, turn it around, and then like now you have it elevated slightly for just one layer of cards in the top. So lots of different things you can do. Don't be afraid to play around, come up with ideas. Um, if you want to like add more holes to hold certain pegs for a certain game, it's gray board, go ahead and cut it. I suggest using like a razor knife um, or maybe an X-Acto knife. Um, but whatever you feel like doing, like I said, a lot of people, I love this for terraforming Mars. I like it for displaying a bunch of different types of cards in my game. My, uh, my new game Mountaineers that we're coming out with has probably, it has like 165 different cards. They're all different. So it's fun to be able to just to display tons of cards there. Um, maybe you have kids with small hands. Maybe your friend who games with you broke his wrist. Um, whatever you feel like using them for. I mean, even just like, I know I've seen some, I guess, some game conventions and, uh, and even just like local gaming events where people have like the the uh, like the chips or the the fry trays, the food trays that they're using for components. So I think this is a much more elegant solution for that, just because you can fold it flat after you're done, put it back in the box, and it's nice. Made a game board, a little more durable maybe, and a nicer space to put the, the your components in. Um, yeah, so whatever you want. All right. Somehow I still managed to make this a 10-minute video, so. Um, 
I'm going to be over and out now, but don't hesitate to uh, tweet or email me, info at massivegames.com, sales at massivegames.com, both of those I'll be able to see or someone on my team will be able to see um, and ask me any questions you have about setup. And again, really sorry, I did not have manuals ready for you. Um, I didn't really think the, the other display stands needed it. They're fairly self-explanatory, but these ones I probably should have had at least something you could download online. So I will work on getting that out at some point. Like I said, I'm traveling for um, business and networking um, in San Jose right now, and I am swamped. But you guys come first. You're my awesome backers. I really appreciate all your support. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to have a few more comments in this uh, update that I'm posting with this video. But um, one thing I did want to say, if you're still watching, is that if you're in the U.S., you might get your displays a little bit later than our European backers, simply because we made these displays in Europe and our fulfillment centers there. So um, depending on how they got shipped out, don't be afraid if you're like, everyone's getting their displays. Yours are probably on their way. In fact, I just got confirmation finally from uh, our fulfiller, and it looks like all the American orders have been sent. So if you were in that first round of uh, orders um, of the Kickstarter survey that we did, then you should be getting yours like any time now. So, and of course, if you don't or something happens, you can email the fulfillment company at the email I'll give you, and you can also message me, and I'll try to take care of it as soon as possible. So. Super excited that you guys are getting these. It's really awesome to see a final product and get to play with it and enjoy it. So far, the customer feedback has been really good. So um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to go to bed now. So have a great evening. All right.